Hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Microsoft OneDrive and PowerPoint Online. On my screen, I have already logged in to OneDrive. But to see the login page, this is what it looks like. When you first arrive at the onedrive.live.com website, you can sign up for free. Of course, it's a free account. And then you can start using it. Once you do sign in, you can see a screen similar to this one. I've already got two folders set up. One folder for documents and another folder for pictures. When you click on a folder, if it has anything in it, it will open up to tell you and show you where what you've got. It's got like little thumbnails that show you the files and the items that are in there. If you're looking at pictures and you click that open, it'll show you the thumbnails of the photographs. At the top of the OneDrive screen, you can create new folders or a new Office document. You can also upload files from your computer to this location. On the left, there is a menu pane. You can click to see the recent things you were working on, if there were any. If you haven't been working on anything, there won't be anything there. Please also be aware that when you're working in OneDrive, it is a Microsoft product. And you're going to see things like this in the lower left corner here trying to urge you to spend money and purchase higher higher uh, versions of OneDrive and other Microsoft products. So just be aware of that and be conservative of what you click on. One thing I like is, is this little uh, note here that's showing me how much space I'm using of the available space. They give you, at least at this point, they've given me five gigabytes of space and I've only used a little over two megs, two megabytes of that space so I'm using a tiny fraction of what I can use. Another thing you should be aware of is this icon in the upper left corner that looks like a checkerboard. When you click that it offers you different tiles of things you can use. Notice too that there are tiles for Microsoft Office applications like Word, Excel and so on. These, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, these are the online versions of the software. These are free to use, but they are limited. If you click, I'm going to click the PowerPoint one here. If you click that one, it offers up the PowerPoint online uh, product. And, you know, if there's anything new, it'll flash this little banner. So you can just click to get out of that. And let's say that you want to try one of these um, templates. If you click one, notice that it tells you you are on PowerPoint Online. This is what it looks like. So if you notice up here at the top, it tells you you're not in the actual full-blown version of the PowerPoint software. You would have to purchase that and install it on your computer. This is PowerPoint Online, which is a web-based scaled down version of PowerPoint. So you have tools here that are that are the same tools that you can see in the real PowerPoint but they are scaled down versions. In other words uh, you don't have the full menus here, you don't have all the tools and buttons and menus that PowerPoint has, but you have a lot of the basics. You can create transitions and animations, use designs and uh, insert things. So there's a lot you can do here that you can do in, in PowerPoint uh, 2016 or other versions of PowerPoint, but here it's um, uh, somewhat limited. So. Also, be aware that if you created a PowerPoint presentation in the real full-blown version of the, of the software on your computer, and then you open that file here in PowerPoint Online, what you might lose some of the effects that you 
put into that presentation because if PowerPoint Online doesn't have it, it'll remove it from your file and you can't get it back. You, you would have to recreate those effects back in on your computer in the real PowerPoint. And that goes for Word and Excel as well. So be careful about opening your files here unless you originated them here. So here you can create a PowerPoint presentation, um, a pretty good one, even though, though you don't have all the um, tools and menus here. So you can go back to this tile, go back to OneDrive, or this is also where you can access Sway, which is a whole other little mini program that you can use, kind of like PowerPoint, but it's not the same thing exactly. Um, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click OneDrive. And that brings me back to my original OneDrive screen. So again, if you want to use OneDrive, it's a very convenient place to store copies of your files. Do not store original things here. I would suggest just storing copies here so that as a backup in case something happens to your original files on your own computer. And be careful too not to store anything here that has personal information on it such as your address, your uh, any identification information, any account numbers, passwords, anything like that. So be, be cautious because nothing is 100% safe. 